Today, we're going to be going over the basics on replacing a PC processor as I upgrade my processor from an AMD FX 4300 to an AMD FX 8350. Stay tuned! Hey guys, Bob from Gill Skills. Today we're going to be replacing the processor in my gaming computer. I've been looking forward to doing this for quite some time. I've got a quad core processor in there right now and it's barely doing the job. It's freezing up whenever I'm trying to edit videos and whatnot. So I figured I'd upgrade the processor. Right now I have the FX4300. I've upgraded it to the FX8350. That should uh, beef up the horsepower quite a bit because this is an octa-core processor. That's why it's an eight there. That's how many processors that it has. So I'm gonna go ahead and unbox this and let's uh, let's see uh, what's in there, huh? shall we? Yeah, super exciting. So as you can see, this is the very first time I've opened this. I broke the seal just now. And it comes with its own sink fan, or a sink, uh, heat sink rather. And believe it or not, this bulky part is the heat fan or the heat sink. Look at that monster, huh? Look at that. That looks like there's some LEDs in there, too. That is super cool. I didn't even know that. Oh, I can't wait to plug this thing in now. That should come out. There we go. There we go. Boy, that's beautiful. Beautiful little heat sink. Gotta love that. Look at that. Looks like it comes with its own layer of thermal paste. Um, but just to be on the safe side, we are going to put a couple of dabs on there. Uh, we don't want this thing overheating. It's going to require more power, which means it's going to heat up more. So we want to be very careful. All right, let's find that chip, shall we? Oh, that's the meat and potatoes right there, ladies and gentlemen. That is the brain of the PC. Yellows. All right, so that's the processor right there. Wow. That is super, super cool, man. And it's relatively easy to do, too. It's, I mean, it's, it's pretty straightforward to, to take the old processor out and put the new processor in. I'm going to turn the PC off, and we're going to go from there. And apparently there's a fan that goes into the power supply that really should be cleaned. Woo! This here is the, basically it's the fan and the heat sink for the processor that is currently in there. So what I'm going to need to do is take the actual heat sink out. And in order to do that, there's some clips here that I'll have to use a tool to try to get out. I think they're on both ends too. As you can see, the power is actually plugged in right there, and that's where the new fan is going to go in as well. The processor would get its power from the motherboard, but the fan still needs power too, so that's where it would plug into. Now, the nice thing about this is this processor will, will be able to resell it. There we go. And I'll unplug that. Yeah. So this is the a little bit of that thermal paste there. And what that thermal paste does is it just evenly distributes the heat so that there's no hot spots on the processor itself. Because you really don't want hot spots on the processor. Because if you get hot spots on the processor, that means your processor will not last as long as it should. Now there's a lever right here right where my finger is what I'm going to do now is I'm going to gently push pull that out and I'm going to pull it all the way up like so and what that does is it releases the pins on the inside so that I will literally be able to 
take the processor out now. There's a golden triangle type thing on one side. You see that? That gives you that gives you where the processor needs to be plugged in. So this is the new one, and the new one's got that same thing. So it just it's just a guide for you to be able to plug it in correctly. I think you have that diagram also on the board. I'm going to go ahead and take that processor out now. Ever so gently. And this is the, the processor itself. So I'm going to take this and I'm just going to gently put it on top of the heat sink for now. Super exciting. There we go. We're going to put it in the exact same way. All right, so this is the brand new processor, so I'm going to go ahead and slip that in. And I'm just going to take my time because I don't want to accidentally bend any pins. And just like that, it just kind of falls into place. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to seal it. I'm just going to push this down, and it just clips right into place. Just like that. Very simple. We do need to get the heat sink in there. We're going to put a few dabs of thermal paste on here just to make sure that there's an even distribution of the heat. And I actually took the liberty of buying some. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and put this in place. Come on, get in there, there we go. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Probably should have plugged the power in first. She's in. The fan power is hooked up. The new heat sink is all set and ready to go. All right, guys, let's get this up right. And then we'll turn this puppy on and see if everything's working the way it should be working. Now, the power supply. Well, let's see if uh, everything works the way it should. You ready? Three, two, one. <laughs> that is cool. Wow. She's turning on, so that's that's a good thing. Fan's working good. It turns all sorts of cool colors. It's nice to have something in there other than the color red. Oh, she's powering up. Oh, purple. Look at that. Oh man, that is so cool. Alright, so I'm gonna it looks like this is loading up just fine. So I'm going to button this up, and then I'm going to see if there is anything that uh, needs to be done on the computer and once this boots up. The PC is booted up, and I've used it for approximately a week now. And I'll tell you, boy, oh boy, it is a lot snappier than it used to be. No hang-ups at all. Loving it. Guys, if you like what you've seen here, please like, comment, share, and subscribe to the Gill Skills channel. I really appreciate it. Until the next time, have a scrap happy day.